And here's our Chris Buchanan with the business news headlines. Well, Telcom to give 50% of its Vodafone proceeds back to shareholders. House price growth at a 15-year low. More woes for Old Mutual at its American unit. And strike three and out for Ivy against Altec. The JSE ending down 4% to 2125. Gold at $755 of fine ounce and a barrel of Brent at $58. The Rand at 9 Rand 87 to the dollar, 1572 to the pound, and 12 Rand 66 to the euro. Market Watcher David Shapiro is with us in the studio as always. Well, Dave, hmm. uh, it looked like at some at one point that South Africa was going to do okay. Shares were going to do fine. They cut interest rates aggressively yeah. in England. Our market lifted up a little bit, but then it's almost like it unleashed the bears. Yeah, it is. I think, first of all, we knew that they were going to cut interest rates. Uh, there was speculation that the Bank of England would come down as far as uh, 1.5% to 3%, and also that the uh, Eurozone would, would cut rates. So it was in the market already. Mm. But I think it's the seriousness of the situation and the concerns so the about why, that went with why it. they did it, I think that really knocked the, uh, the market back. And deep, you know, a lot of worries about corporate profitability uh, in Europe, and of course that translates here as well. But uh, resources shares were hit the most today. Why? Simply because uh, demand for commodities will, uh, you know, will be lower. And uh, that's driven the market up. I'm sure that it's going to affect um, housing prices are coming down. So anything, any commodity related with housing is down. And, of course, uh, the slowdown in China as well. You know, people are talking about a considerable turn, turn down in their demand. So market very edgy at the moment. But I have to say one thing against that, Mark Moody Smith. It is Stuart. Uh, Anglo chairman, Mark Moody. Mark Moody Stewart. Tis Stewart, yes. Tis Stewart, yeah. The man with the eyebrows. That's right. You know who we talk He's, about. Uh, he was at a, uh, talking at a conference, I'm not sure where, but he, you know, he said that he believed that uh, commodity prices had fallen too much and also share prices had fallen too but much. But David, he's Anglo's chairman. Well, he, I, I was he going to say, he's say talking something to, like that. Well, he's talking in my book. So, uh, uh, and Cynthia Carroll also, you know, came out of the report saying that they would look at acquisition. So, hopefully, uh, you know, some value will be found somewhere along but the line. They've been doing all these, these share buybacks mm. at mm. much higher levels. Now they're going to be doing acquisitions, well, maybe. Mm. It puts a big question about share buybacks because both BHP Billiton and Anglo's for the last year, two years, have been buying back at considerably higher prices. So, a lot of value destroyed there. Well that the management are certainly not under any pressure to resign, are they? No. Uh, as, far, as far as the market's concerned, we had some of our smaller listings. We spoke yesterday about WG Worm, yeah. and the results were awful, and the share price again tumbling today, another 17%. Mm -hmm. It just shows you lose your confidence in this market view history. Yeah, and I think it's also put a question mark over the whole segment. Uh, we've had foreigners coming out of those uh, infrastructure stocks, and I think if one segment on the market was down today more than anything else, that was the uh, – oh, sorry, on the industrial market, that was infrastructure stocks. Well, world would – Yeah, 10 percent. for a big group It's like crazy, and, and I don't think the results warranted it. So it could Arcelor be – Mittal, do you think that what well, you said here last you know, night – we were talking about – yeah, we were talking about whether or not the bottom had been reached, and obviously not. Well, she said so, she, said mm, she didn't think so, mm, and the share price was down 10 percent today. Mm. Down below 80 rand. 75 bucks at close. That's so about a third of where it was uh, a, a year ago. Massive volatility continuing. Mm. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of shareholders in Sassel, new shareholders mm. in Sassel, uh, who thought that they got a good deal when they were buying the shares at about 100 rand a share higher than where it is at the moment. What can they do or should they do anything? Down today another 7%. I would just hold on. I, I, you've got 10 I, years in that. I th you've got a long time, and I still think that oil prices along the line are going to go up as well. So you've just got to ride yourself, you know, ride, ride through this period.